Hey guys, I just recently picked up the Arterix Fraser jacket and today I'm going to be telling you if it's worth it or not and if it was worth the $500 that I or the $500 price tag. So just about two weeks ago, I picked up the Arterix Fraser jacket. Main reason is because I needed a shell. Um, if you guys watched my camping vlog about a week or two, you know, uh, about like two weeks ago actually, uh, I used the North Face Resolve jacket in which it was, it was alright. Obviously North Face using the their drive-in technology, it is a decent jacket if you're looking for something to just beat up. But I wanted to invest a little bit more since I do live in the city of Vancouver where it does rain quite a bit. And I need something that's going to be very reliable, especially since I am planning to make more videos outdoors. And I'm probably going to be starting a... Uh, Life in Vancouver series with my boy Adot Lee, but that's still in the works. Um, and back on topic, main reason why I got this jacket rather than the Beta LT or the Beta AR is because it's very lightweight, it's super thin, and it's very stylish, and it's super aesthetic aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> that was a lot of ends. The Fraser jacket does feature the Gore-Tex performance membrane, whereas the Beta LT uses the Gore-Tex Pro membrane. And the benefits of the Performance Series is that it is windproof and, of course, waterproof, um, which is what I basically need it for. And the Beta LT uses the Gore-Tex Pro membrane, which is a bit more on the durable side. But keep in mind, I don't really do any sort of climbing. I do hike and I do go on trails, but I think the Fraser jacket is going to suit me quite well. With that in mind, let me just throw it on and let me. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys know how it fits. Alright, so now I have the jacket on. And personally, I got a size small, which I was a little bit worried about if the, the fitting was going to fit a bit, bit, um, a bit too big. Because I know with the Beta LT, I did end up trying it on at one point because I do work at a um, j jacket retailer store. And the Beta LT was kind of just right, but shells normally fit slightly bigger in my opinion, just so you can have a mid-layer. Um, Kind of put under if it gets a little bit chilly and you can use it's very shells are very versatile but shells off uh these shells offer no like sort of insulation which is why it does fit a little bit bigger so yeah i got i ended up going with the size small and for reference i am 5'7 around 125 pounds um and they do not provide an extra small so i say if you are smaller than that the size small might be slightly too big and if that's the case i would recommend going with just the beta lt which is around 50 dollars more because they do provide an extra small option um but if you're on 5'7, 130 pounds or so uh this jacket should fit you quite well the jacket does prof uh, provide four four zippers on the uh, two on the chest and two at the belly area um, both in which they are tape seamed off so you don't have to worry about uh, water getting into your I guess pockets the chest pockets are really great if you just want to put like a let's say so if you want to put your phone in your chest pocket it is kind of a snug fit but it fits right there I have the iPhone 12 <laughs> Pro for reference um let's put that aside so if you wanted to just kind of slip it in there or if you, you can just throw in some keys as well that's also a great uh a great i guess choice or use of the pocket itself and another reason why i ended up going with the fraser jacket is because it has that urban tech wear look that i really wanted um not saying that the beta usually arcteryx jackets they do all have that urban look but just there's just something about the fraser jacket where it's just so sleek and so thin sorry about that um there's something about just kind of that sleek and thin look to this jacket it just makes it look so much more better in my opinion um one thing to note is that although i do love arcteryx one thing i don't like is kind of being dripped out in Arc'teryx I do I am wearing an Arc'teryx shirt um but this can go for any other brand I don't like I don't like being dressed up and down with one specific brand so dude, that's kind of another reason why I ended up going with the Fraser jacket um the Beta LT and the Beta AR has usually an embroidered um chest logo which is nice and all but I think it's a little bit too flashy 
and if I wanted to kind of go with the more minimal look, I went with the Sawyer jacket because it only had the only branding that it does have is obviously the neck tag and the um the arm the arm logo here. Unfortunately, it's not embroidered. No biggie. Uh, I kind of did wish that it was just because obviously embroidery does last longer than just kind of a um, just slapped on logo. But no complaints there. Uh, obviously, it hasn't faded yet. And so one thing I want to add is there is no internal pockets. So that might be a deal breaker for you guys. I know a lot of people really love their internal pockets on the chest area. But unfortunately, this jacket does not have that. Main reason is probably because this jacket is so slim and it's so thin. So I feel like a chest pocket kind of would... It wouldn't give it that straight down look. If that makes sense. Also, one thing I wanted to add is that this jacket does have internal cuffs on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but the internal cuffs, I read a review uh, before I bought it and I was a little bit worried because they were saying how when they were layering it up with a long sleeve, it just bunched up their, I guess, sweater on the inside. But although that could be true, I actually don't mind it at all. You can just kind of pull the sleeve down anyways. It's not like it's really like tight there. It's not, I, and I do have really small wrists too, but it doesn't feel like it's really like hugging, hugging my wrist. Um, I guess, I guess that's why it's not really hugging my wrist <laughs> because my wrists are very thin. So if you do have, um, bigger wrists, I guess, which is something I just thought of in, on the spot. If you do have bigger wrists, it might not be the best option. If you w are planning to layer it up with like a long sleeve crew neck hoodie. And I guess the final thing I want to say is, is it worth the $500? Um, if you are looking for something to just use casually in the city i'd say it's a great jacket just for that aesthetics but if you are looking for something a little more on the durable side something more functional uh, i guess more functional and yeah more durable um just go with the beta lt yeah that kind of summarizes these, this entire video hopefully you found this video useful i have been making more vlogs and whatnot but i do want to lead my channel in a direction where i review jackets and just kind of products in general um but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys hit that likes and even potentially subscribe button. And if you really, really like this video, feel free to press the bell notification just to be um, notified when I do end up uploading. I'm trying to upload every week or so at least. Uh, my camera, my A7 II should be coming in very soon. So keep your eyes out for that video coming out soon. And with that, I... Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and see you guys next time. There we go.